the Shattered Isles. A sky full of adventure and glory for the bold few who rise to the challenge. Some say the behemoths rule these islands. But we're going to prove them wrong. We are slayers, and slayers live for the hunt. Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to, or welcome back to Dauntless. Kind of depends on, uh, I guess, the perspective. So I played this game a while back, uh, when it first came to Early Access, but like, a year and a half, two years ago? And enjoyed it, but found it to be a little bit, like, buggy and a little bit, like, rough as a solo player. Uh, but now that it's, like, out and available, uh, more or less for everybody... I, I think it is. I, I think anybody can get it on, on the Epic Games launcher. Uh, now. So I figured I'd come back, take a look, and see how it's changed. See how much it's improved, and see how much, uh, let's see, body feminine, nope. Wow. As a masculine, <laughs> she looks like she rage punches people. Anyway. Let's go with this. I'm just gonna be... Eh, he's got like a bit of a tan. Eh. Eh, let's go with that. I don't go outside that much. Not that I'm actually modeling this after my face. Anyway, maximum square. This is this is a man that is rough cut and oh, I don't know if I want to squash or squish this one. I'll bring it out like a little bit. Maybe? I don't know. I like the angular angularity that shows up on the nose there. Asymmetrical. Oh boy. I think this is the first time I've ever seen that in a game. I don't like it. I've never seen that before, but I don't like it. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Anyway, so yeah, I I enjoyed the experience, but I found it to be just, you know, a little flawed, and especially in the face of Monster Hunter World, which I think came out like a couple months later. It really was kind of a, a rough experience. But at the same time, I've, I've grown bored of Monster Hunter World, at least until they add... Uh, by the way, I make horror monsters whenever I make characters. So, just fair warning. Brow Ridge. Maximum. Iris. Small? Big. Small. Pupil. Big. Small. Like I said, I make monsters when it comes to these things. Oh, I can change the... Change the colors. <sighs> Kinda wish there was a color picker so we could have, like, other colors, but whatever. What is inner iris after iris? Oh! They don't really do heterochromia, which is unfortunate, because it's what I have. Oh well, eh, it's kind of grayish, it's close. Okay, hairdo. Okay, now we get to get pretty. Fabulous. <laughs> Let's not do that. At all. I mean, this is actually some of the best curly hair I think I've ever seen in a video game. If you look at it too hard, it's, it kind of loses it a little bit, but it still looks nice. Make him bald as the day he was born. Alternatively, I don't know. I don't know what to do with any of these. Whenever I'm presented with hairdos, <laughs> I'm always tempted to make terrible decisions, and I probably shouldn't. I actually really like this hairdo. Let's, let's change, change the color. It's kind of good with the white. Uh, let's see, do we have a full-on beard? Oh, I like this man already. I suddenly almost regret making him look like a horror monster. Except for I don't. I like that full beard. That is a full fun- That is a fun full beard. Ooh, eyebrows. Eyebrow size. Maximum eyebrow position. Hella down. Now, what is- Do we have anything bigger than this? No, nope, those are the floofiest eyebrows I think I have access to. Okay, so let's take a look at alternate hairdos now that I'm- I'm proper. This hairdo looks wrong. Like, it looks like it's just been glued to the top of his head. <laughs> I look fabulous. I mean, that actually doesn't look terrible. It's a, it's a little bobbish for me, but it's actually not as bad as it, as it could have been. I 
it's not terrible. The bun's a little ridiculous. I like the rest of it, though. <laughs> oh, boy. Honestly, I'm actually a pretty big fan of this. Like, obviously, I will never be able to have that kind of hairdo myself. Uh, I've got one hell of a steep widow's peak, and yeah, my hair is not thick enough or curly enough to pull that off. Nor, I think, would I want to manage that sort of thing. Anyway, so maximum nose, nose tip. Eh. I'm just gonna... I always do this whenever I... Whenever I have a character creator. I don't necessarily always make them hideous, but I do make them uh, physiologically impossible. The more mustache space we can get, the better. Oh, maximum mustache. Alright, there we go. We look kind of concerned to be here, <laughs> to be totally honest. Ear position, up or down? Eh, somewhere in the middle. Ear width, big. Ear size, big. Nope, actually tiny ears. Ear shape, pointy, for some reason. I don't know, but that's okay. Jaw, maximum, jaw corners. Up or down? Up. Chin size, big. Chin depth, obviously poofy. Cheekbones, up or down? Let's bring them up. Cheekbones backwards, forwards, forwards. Cheekbones in or out? What does that look like from here? Out. Cheeks fullness. Fill that out, okay. That's it for the jaw, and then we put on makeup and... <laughs> Let's not. Yeah, I think let's not. Okay, let's go back here for a second. I'm going to turn off the beard. <laughs> okay, let's keep that beard on. Okay, uh, you will be able to change your appearance at any time. Oh, thank you. That's lovely. I love it when games do that. Okay, now that I've made my horror monster, uh, let's see. I think we still have to do the tutorial hunt. I'm not sure if any of my stuff carries over. Part of the reason why I lost interest in Dauntless is because they actually wiped everybody's progress for balance issues and so on and so forth. And I understand entirely why they did it. Uh, but it sucked for me as, as a YouTuber. I don't really want to have to go back through that process again and again and again. You know, obviously, if the game was, like, perfection or a roguelike, I wouldn't mind that much. But it was still kind of in that, like, loosey-goosey, working on it state. But now I don't think they're going to be deleting any progress. So yeah, let's let's actually get into Dauntless as Reggae Santa Claus or something. I don't know. Take your position, Rook. Listen up. I don't train failures. It's not worth my time. And time is not on our side. There are more behemoths turning up on the frontier every day. And like it or not, you lot are all that stands between them and the good people of Ramsgate. The people who pay me to make sure you know your axe from a pole in the ground. Hold fast back there, people. Just a bit of turbulence. <laughs> Today's the day you prove you can all be let off the leash. I'm not going to be waiting for you at the drop zone, in case things go wrong. Today you prove you're not just recruits, you're slayers.
My spine. Oh god, my spine. I'm gonna be honest, that would probably kill a man two to three times over. Luckily, Reggae Santa, Santa Claus's uh, spine made out of something, something beyond this earth or any other earth. Video game physics. Recruit, this is the bosun. We can't get to you right now. That storm didn't just blast the hull; it also drained our power. We have to make field repairs and refill the aether traps if we're going to get back to Ramsgate. That's where you come in. We spotted a rogue Nasher on your island. And that rogue should contain more than enough aether to power the ship for our return journey. And listen, if you need advice, don't hesitate to call. We'll kick the radio on for you. You landed close to a behemoth recruit. Strike now, or you'll never get off that island alive. It's time you were on the move. Well, if there's an annoying noise in the background, I apologize for that. My neighbors seem to be doing some kind of weird, weird work. Anyway, so, well, there he is. Uh, I guess it wants me to go this way. Is there, there's probably a sprint button. Well, there's the dodge roll. It's been a while since I've played. The UI has improved considerably. It's still kind of this, like, weird... It's this weird, limited thing. Wow, that works. Okay. The button, that's... That's that, okay. Yeah, I'm honestly... Let's see. I'm honestly not sure if I should be playing this on Kieber. Well, that goes fast. Can I harvest this still? It doesn't look like it. Well, he's mad at me. It seems like it got easier for reasons. Okay. So, yeah. Win in. Win in special attack mode. Oh, wow, that lasts for a while. Okay. One, I should probably remember to dodge here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that special attack meter goes for a while. I don't remember it uh, working that way in the previous version. I, I really have to go go and double check my, my footage for my original series. Honestly, like... It, the sword, it, it is proving... It is proving to be a lot better? God damn it. Stop rolling away from me. No, I'm not hurt. Get out of here with that weak business. I will admit... Oh, can animation cancel that well? Okay. But yeah, I will admit I'm just trying to face tank, tank this so we can get through as fast as possible. I've got, my neighbors are working on something, they're running like a gas pump. And it is loud, and it is annoying. I don't think it's getting into the footage, which is good, but it's always a fear. Especially when I'm, like, doing an episode one for a, a series, or I guess, what is this, episode, like, 30-something if we're going by my original stuff? But, like, whatever. I do not know the combos, I will learn them. I thought he was gonna go right by. Guess not. Man, his tail had, like, no HP. The rest of him... ...has a fair bit. Die, you overgrown muskrat! Ow. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Ha 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 ha! I did not fall! I was expecting nothing but falling. Hey! And it leveled up! Are you- what? Did I not- oh no! Break behemoth parts with the sword. Oh, and there we go! <laughs> like, seconds later. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Well, it's got a lot more style than it used to. I mean, it still looks the same, but definitely a lot more panache, which I like. Spikes on that island. 
Just set up a flare so we can home in on your exact position. Nice work. We'll be able to refill the Aether traps and get ourselves back to Ramsgate in no time. I do really like the visual style for this game. It's very plastic, but like in a very good way. I don't know, I like looking at it. Reminds me of, I guess, modern Disney movies. But like, I don't know, it's a nice, it's a nice visual style. It's very colorful. Should be seeing the city any minute now. On an approach course to Ramsgate. Also, isn't the voice actor for this guy the same voice actor for the commander in in Monster Hunter World, or am I imagining that? Either that, or it's uh, Ulbrich from uh, from Octopath Traveler. I want to say I could be wrong. It sounds so much like uh, it. Smell that fresh Ramsgate air, eh? But don't spend too much time enjoying it. Cat needs every Slayer to get back in the fight as soon as they're able. You've proven you're up to the task. Everyone in Ramsgate is looking for her to coordinate the response to this behemoth surge. And that doesn't leave any of us a lot of downtime. She's already gone ahead to the plaza. So meet her there as soon as you can. Off you go then. And keep that chin up. You'll be a full-fledged slayer in no time. I'm gonna be honest, she sounds like- or she sounds- she looks like she's gonna be crying every time I look into those eyes. Like, they're a little bit- they're a little bit too emotive, almost. Anyway, so- you did it. Nice work. Oh, so this is not voice acted. Well, glad to see you, Rook. I appreciate the save and I won't mince words. You're ready to strike out on your own. The sh this ship is yours. Consider it a thank you for saving my life. And I need to remain here to coordinate the training of all these new recruits anyway. You're ready to put down that training sword. I've got something for you. A full set of Ramsgate recruits weapons forged from Ostian steel. You'll need to get them uh, you'll need them to get started on the lesser behemoths of this sheltered frontier. Oh, yeah, it is sheltered, not shattered. Oh, I see. It's probably split into different uh regions. You can go equip whatever weapon you like in your loadout. You also need a better protection. I've asked or I've told Moira at High Scatter Smithy to expect you. It's time you learn how to turn the power of behemoths against them. Stretch your legs a bit and take the fight back to the behemoths. We'll talk again soon. Okay, mastery system is filled with objectives for slayers to compete as they hone their skills with different weaponry and hunt behemoths of the Shattered Isles. Access mastery, brave pressing start, go to mastery. As you gain mastery, your slayer level will also increase. As your slayer level increases, so your effectiveness with increased health, stamina, and various perks. Don't oh! Guard down. So there is some amount of, of like, RPG leveling. That's kind of nice. And I noticed Ramsgate is as as stutter as ever. Hopefully the actual missions are not. Anyway. Skies above, you look superb. Might I ask a small favor? So Hunt Pass. We get 100 hunt Heart Seekers. Congratulations, your mentor has enlisted you in the Rams Ramsgate Hunt Pass. I'm Gregario Flint, stylist to well everyone in Ramsgate, but please, call me Gregario. It'll be my honor and pleasure to ensure your contributions to the protection and security of our fair city are recognized. Okay, claim my rewards. So I get Orchid, probably a die. Most impressive, Slayer. You've already earned the Heart Pass rewards. I knew you were talented. Now all you need is to step into my shop and claim them. Welcome here. You're beginning to bloom. That's all I have at the moment. Okay. So, gonna have to work on that. Oh, and there's also... This is the Dauntless store. So we can buy a couple of different things. Obviously, some of them are kind of expensive. What does this do? Oh. I was kind of hoping I could preview the skin first. Because, yeah, I don't want to necessarily buy that uh, yet. Uh, let's try that again. I want to see if they have any other interesting skins. So we have dyes. Well, we can buy the recruit. Let's see. And then everything else costs platinum. Now, you can earn platinum through regular gameplay. Oh, 
You can actually preview the uh, the die on your armor. Well, that's nice. What else do we have? Boost patrol chest loot, ace chips, assault supply packs. Most of this seems completely useless as far as I'm concerned. So we also have the Ghost Fox style, which I think you can earn through uh, the mastery system. But if you can't... Let's see. Crouching and hidden. <laughs> okay, some of these are really cute. Let's see. So we also have weapon skins. I'm just going to kind of look over a number of these things because I'm, I'm curious. I'm a big fan of Warframe. And so, you know, it's interesting to see... Oh. Switch the lantern out for like a little shuriken. That's kind of neat. And then these are featured, which we've more or less already seen. But yeah, a lot of that stuff I know is earnable through the uh, through regular gameplay. What are you? Oh, first hunt past item. Collect more death marks to earn heart seekers. Level up your pass. Gregario can tell you more. Okay, so keep an eye out for these things all over the place. Now, is there a sprint button? Okay, it's, it's right trigger. Okay, so I could run around grabbing a bunch of these. I probably will. I might get a lot of them off camera just because I'm not entirely sure what it, what's entailed. What I want to figure out is making a guild. Uh, I have no idea how to do it. I had one previously. Okay, guilds. Here we go. Create a guild. Perfect. Guild name is going to be Henchbots. Not Henchboy, Henchbot. Uh, that's too long. Hench. Unable to create guild. What do you mean? Why not? Am I not a high enough level? But what's going on? Maybe I'm not a high enough level. Oh, failed to create gear guild. Weird. I am confused. Maybe I have to get a little bit further in. Well, I'm going to go investigate because I want to get this guild going so that y'all can join me. Uh, let's see. By the way, I also have an invite to my Discord. So if any of you guys are uh, specifically interested in joining me on Dauntless, uh, you can go through there. I'm not going to be the most consistent, and it does depend a little bit on how the game performs. Uh, but I would like to play a lot more of this because I really enjoyed Monster Hunter World back when I when I played it, I guess, last year. Uh and I wouldn't mind, you know, getting in deep to Dauntless, at least for this season. At least for a little while. Especially because, like, I don't know. The more Monster Hunter-likes there are, the better. Even if they don't all match up and they're not all, like, the same. Because, obviously, we also had... What other Monster Hunter-likes are there? There's, um... There's God Eater. Which, I guess I never finished God Eater 3. I should go back and do that. And then there's the, uh... There was the, like, kind of weird... I'm going to say almost a Chinese-inspired one? But I forget the name of it. I remember trying to play it, but the voice the voice chat, like, ruined everything. Anyway, oh, you can pet the doggo. Okay, well, I'm going to pet the doggo, and then I'll be back once I've solved all my problems. You might hear some... I guess we might as well go pick up that quest, too. There's a very real possibility I probably can't make a guild until I've actually finished the first quest or two. Probably. Anyway, ooh, more of these. Kunai. Daily death marks collected. Huh, okay. Well, yeah. Let's talk to her. To Smith and Protect. Meet with Armorsmith, Moira, Hegsketter, and Forge a Nasher cap. Well, look at what the Nasher dragged in. I told you not to get tooth marks on your armor, but hey, good to see you. From what Cat tells me, you're ready to start in on the good stuff. Armor forged from behemoth trophies, what some slayers like to call break parts. It won't last long without something to protect that nifty noggin of yours. But I can use the bits and pieces you picked up from the lesser behemoth. To make you a brand new helm. Well, I say helm, but this one's more of a ready, more of a really sturdy armored hat. Warm too. Open the crafting screen and forge a Nasher cap. Okay, I like that illustration. I, I kind of wish they'd actually used more of that 2D art because it looks real nice. Anyway, the artisans of Ramsgate can use parts and items you to uh, you find to craft all manner of weapons, tools, lanterns, and consumables for you to use on your hunts. 
When you enter the crafting interface, you'll see items that can be crafted and whether you have the necessary components or uh, to make or upgrade them. It also equip new gear here, saving you a trip to the loadout screen. Crafting. Okay, time to make this dumb hat. That looks a hell of a lot nicer than it used to. I also have... Oh, I see. So we've hit max level and we can't make the hat. Can we make the rest of any of this? We can make some of it. We can make all of it. Okay. So, unfortunately, it looks like upgrading all of this requires neutral orbs. So, increases max health by 50 and healing from all sources by 5%. That is nice. I like the upgrade system in this game. It looked... Yeah, I mean, it's better than just, like, the, the plus whatever system from, uh... The plus whatever system from Monster Hunter World. Oh, that hat. <laughs> it does not look good on me. Probably doesn't look good on a whole lot of people. But that's kind of to be expected. And this UI looks a lot better. And functions better, too. A little nested. Kind of wish I didn't have to go through all of this. Well, that's okay. Anyway, question. Die in trans transmog. Okay, so we have access to not a whole lot of these. I would like to get some of these, like, transcendent. But, you know, for now, I guess I'm stuck with... I don't even have Orchid? So this is locked. Maybe I have to keep going. I guess let's... Oh, it's going to be a lagoon. Ah, that's how I do it. Now, what's this? Oh. Cosmetic. Okay, so I, I have... I have some kind of cosmetic set. Let's take a look at that. That's probably stuff that I got from the pre-order all the way ago. So we might as well slap that on. Either that or it's like a... It could be a founder set. It could be... Who knows? Let's see what the whole thing looks like. Oh, it's kind of nice. Holy shit, that is a muscular arm. Not exactly the fanciest of... Oh, helmet always visible. Oh, cool. I can turn it off. And I don't have any skins. Well, I'm going to turn that off. I do not want that. Okay, so I I look interesting. I look fine. I've crafted all the Nasher armor. I guess let's turn in this quest. There's more to this than I thought. Never doubted you for a moment. And that should keep your head on your shoulders. But it's just one type of behemoth gear. Here at the Hegscatter Smithy, we've got schematics for almost any behemoth you've ever heard of. And some you definitely haven't. Now listen, I'm not knocking a gift from our friend Cat. But your recruits' weapons will only get you so far out there. You want weapons forged with behemoth trophies. If you're going to make it out there in the maelstrom. You need to see Wills Borman. He can do things with or Ostian steel and behemoth trophies you wouldn't believe. He's probably already expecting you. That story about you saving Cat's life is getting around. I uh, may have helped al that along a bit, actually. Okay, get in gear. That is a nice illustration. I really, like I said, I really wish they'd use these illustrations more. <laughs> They're so nice looking. Anyway, the main menu, switch Why loadout, cool. Here? Well, let's go, let's go talk to the weaponsmith. I think he's over here. No, they moved everything. He used to be over here, but now they've... Well, oh, it's this guy. Okay, maybe they haven't moved everything. It looks different, but it has been a while since I played this. Ah, Trophy hunt. In my Recruit, it's a pleasure to see you. Wills told me you're ready to have your training weapons, uh, leave your training weapons behind and forge something new. I too wish to forge new designs never f before seen in the Shattered Isles. The Meldostian quality with in the inherent power of the behemoths themselves. My latest schematics would imbue a fierce Ostian weapon with essences of the blaze-eating behemoth. The slayers call a lesser amber main. Slay this fiery beast and bring any trophies to me. We'll shall forge you a weapon that will cause your foes to melt in fear. Visit the hunt board in Ramsgate to find new hunts and chart your course in the Shattered Isles. You can also access the hunt board by pressing start. Select the map, blah blah blah. Got it. Okay, so we have unlocked, well, the weapon cards for those. Fortunately, I do not have them. Anyway, let's switch away from the training sword to... We have the Recruit Sword, Recruit's Axe, Hammer, Chain Blades, War Pike. Oh, we don't have the Repeaters. Well, I haven't used the War Pike yet, so I think I'm going to go with that one. And I don't have any other mods, so that's fine. Do you have any cool transmogs? The answer is also no. Oh, that's fine. 
Anyway, I'm going to go fill, uh, figure out this whole guilt nonsense and uh, come back later. And hopefully we can just dive straight into some multiplayer hunts too. When I first played this, I more or less played alone because almost nobody I knew had the game and almost nobody could play it because it was kind of buggy. And now that it's free to play, well, I hope some of you guys feel like joining me. Okay, so it's broken and that's fine. So I think what I'm going to do, let's just do a solo hunt real quick. Let's go, let's go fight this Emberman and go from there. Uh, cause yeah, I can't, I can't make a guild at least for a little while. So let's do Blaze Behemoth's Lesser Esser, Lesser Ember Main. There we go. And, oh. I guess I could have done that solo, but let's, let's not. I'll figure, figure things out from there. Uh, let's see. What do we do next? I don't know. I'm going to look at some of these. I might end up buying into one of these. There was some kind of, um, I know there's some kind of like subscription system for this. I don't know if I'll, I'll go for that. Um, Arc Slayer pack wouldn't be terrible. How do we... How do we do? If I go Mastery... Ah! So, Embermane. Nasher. So, Hunt Nasher, Wearing Nasher Armor, Craft All Nasher Gear. Okay, so these are different, uh, Mastery Rewards. And things, and... Oh, there's also... These. So, these are Behemoths. There's that. Mock Consumable Slot 3. Rewards. Hi. So it goes all the way up to 50. Okay, and then there's Hunt Pass, which is a separate thing. I can claim rewards. Okay, I get a Bronze Slayer Core. And now, oh, I see. So I can get Elite, which is Season 5 Elite Hunt Pass plus 15 levels. Huh. Okay. I'm assuming these are the elite rewards, maybe down here. Yeah, basic versus elite. Oh, that's that's dirty. I mean, I, I totally understand, but that's still dirty. Anyone having trouble getting into hunts? I've been waiting for 15 minutes for your current hunt. Well, butts. Okay. Uh, and I can't skip matchmaking. Okay, so it looks like this might just be broken. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, I guess we'll be on in a couple hours when it's probably not getting bombed by people. Ah, never mind. I was just sitting around deciding to uh, deciding to get get some stuff on the uh, on the store. I might as well look like a robot man for this series, but then I guess uh, we're just going into this hunt. Hopefully, I won't get my butt kicked this time around. I mean, it's just a lem lesser Ember Man. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. Wow, you really can spin in this game. That is... that's cool. I, I like when you can do this. Admittedly, it's not quite as cool as the uh, Dark Souls, like, turbo spin. But you know what? It works. It's something for me to do when I've got nothing better to do. Okay, so I am ready to go. Looks like some of these people are better equipped than me, maybe? I don't know. It shouldn't matter. Lesser Ember Main is not much of a threat. It's been a while since I've done this. I remember there used to be kind of like a weird jousting thing that you do with it, which is cool. My character just looks like shock and awe at all times. I see. If you hit those, you go hail fast. Oh, gatherables are much, much more obvious. That's nice. Well, might as well actually help people here, as opposed to just being a complete yutz. I say as I go to grab heart lilies. Okay, now let's go help. I've never used this weapon before. Okay, let's choppy that tail if we can. Interesting. Ow. Well, at least it ain't burning. Okay, so I've got... Oh, it's a shield. Wow. Poor sucker gets tired. Oh. I can shoot with this thing. It's kind of a long charge up, but still. Oh, I see. 
I'm sure there's a better way of doing what I, I've been doing, but that's okay. I think the sword's super move has, like, a little bit more of a... Wait, a smoke dew cloth. I think that was something I used to have to... I used to, like, want to farm. I appreciate that it tells me when I've got one. Like, that was kind of cool. I don't know. I... This feels a lot better than it used to be. I'm... And, yeah, part breakage seems a lot easier. But this is also, like, a very low-bee... Low-bee dude-ski. Okay, I'm gonna wait for him to get tired, and then we'll hit him with the... Oh! He's in, like, pissed-off mode. Well, that did some damage. Point point blank, uh, point blank butt shots with the uh, with the spear is is punchy. Though honestly, it seems like just hitting it regularly does the trick. Beatings will continue until well, not even morale improves until I win. Trying to jump here. I've been playing too much Sekiro. Well, no. I played Sekiro semi recently and I keep like trying to jump over attacks, and I'm pretty sure that's not how that's supposed to work. Also, that was cool. I gotta pay way more attention to my combos. I think once I find like a weapon that immediately appeals to me, I will pay more attention. Yep. Try jumping over him again. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. Well, that was fast and satisfying. And rank S plus. Everybody else SS. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know this. This game has crossplay. So if any of you guys have a PS4, I guess you're also allowed to join me. That's that's really nice. I, I don't know. I, not a whole lot of games that I know of that have crossplay. Yeah, crossplay, and I, I, I gotta give credit where credit is due. I, very, I, I appreciate that a lot. So we get some hunt pass progress, some other things, Rams, Ember Main, Elite Pass must be unlocked for Elite Pass, Elite Hunt Pass loot. Okay, well let's let's leave. I think that's good enough. Now nah, let's let's maybe do one more. M maybe prob prob. Eh. It feels short. I've only I've only got you know so far in, and I actually really do want to play more of this. So I think first and foremost I should probably get pretty, and then we'll do some things. So claim your rewards. Okay, so now we get orchid, and we don't have anything else there. All right. And let's go upgrade my weapon. I remember that I remember really enjoying the hammer, so that's probably going to be what I go with, at least initially. Unless I can make the repeaters. Good to see you, friend. Okay, forging with plays. Craft an ember bane weapon. Wills is glad to have been entrusted with forging a new weapon. Now, as long as we have the, all the pieces we need, forging we can do. If we do not have all we need. I fear you will need to hunt down more trophies and more behemoths. Enter the crafting screen to create an ember bane weapon. Don't forget to equip it. Slayer's best friend, Ramsgate's resident weaponsmith, Wills Borman, has mastered the art of forging melee weapons using trophies taken from slave behemoths. E uh, every weapon has different advantages in combat. Some even deal elemental damage that may be stronger or weaker against certain behemoths. Okay, so crafting. So we can make, uh, well, we could make an ember main, or uh, a, a Nasher weapon. Let's see. We can make the ember axe. I'm probably going to go for the hammer. Oh, the one thing is... We are... If I'm going to be fighting an Ember main, I'm probably not going to want to use these. So, we don't have access to the repeaters yet. Interesting. So, Evasive Fury, extra attack speed after dodging through an attack. Hammer is 4th hit in quick succession, deals 100 bonus part damage. 10th hit in quick succession, deals 100 part damage. Fifth hit in a row deals extra stagger damage and evasive fury. I should pay attention to that. I think they all have evasive fury. Okay. 
Well, I like I like me some uh some hammers. Let's go with hammers. And I remember using the rage the blades a lot, but let's let's learn something else. Let's make the axe. And last deal we'll make these. And then I'll make a net. Oh. We need a rage tooth to get that one. Can I make the Nash blade? We'll make a Nash blade. And this one I can upgrade. Not the most exciting, but I figure if we're going to be up against uh Ooh. That's actually pretty good. Uh if we want to go fight another Ember Main, we should probably have the Raging Blade plus plus two. Okay, so now that we're done with that, uh we get a number of things, and I'm gonna go make myself look pretty, and then we'll go on the next hunt. Oh, actually, you know what? I might as well bring you guys along for at least part of this. Uh, let's see. So, one thing I will mention is, if you guys do decide to buy any Platinum or anything else, honestly, anything through the Epic Games Store, there's the Supporter Creator program. And cool thing you can do is, uh, if, if, you do guys, if you guys do end up playing this and enjoying it, you can actually type in Wanderbot here, just... Like so. And, uh, I, I believe? Yeah. It's a big, long list. You can sort through it if you want to try and find any other YouTubers or streamers uh, that you want to support. But if you do want to support me, if you type that in, I get a small cut of everything you spend in Dauntless and in Epic Games in general. Um, so you can just type that in, and then every time you you get anything, it'll go to me. Otherwise, when it brings you to the, uh, the Epic Games store page, it'll have a little Enter Creator tag, and you can type in Waterbot, like I, like I did. And, uh, and, yeah, I'll get, I think it's like 5%. It's not much, but it's, it's a nice little thing for me. And, uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I might as well do it other than the money going to Epic Games. Because I think, I don't think any of the cut goes out of, out of the developers' wallets. I, I think it's just like, I get, I think half the cut that Epic would have gotten. I don't know. But either way, it's a nice system. And I wish more, more developers did this because it's cool for me. And yeah, it. It, any amount of support is appreciated. Now that that's plugs over, let's get let's get pretty. Okay, so now that I've gotten pretty, I have Shadow Face, I have Shadow's Metal, I have Shadow's Step. I could look like a ninja. I'm not not gonna look like a ninja though because I'm goddamn robot, and that's the thing. And I can apparently skip some levels. Oh, interesting. Go to the next level in your hunt pass and immediately unlock new rewards. Huh. Let's not do that. Because I might as well play the game instead of, like, buying my way through it. Oh, yeah, I look I look swank. So let's go do one more hunt. Uh, let's see. I guess let's actually go turn in this quest, then go do one more hunt. Then we'll go from there. I do not regret getting this skin. It is rad. Sup, Wills? Slayer, good to see you. And Ostia said... One is not truly a slayer until one wields a weapon forged from the very behemoth one hunts. Yes, it's said in Rand's Gate too, but it was said in Ostia first. The only one example of what wills can forge with the trophies you provide. Together, my friend, we will pr prove to the people of Ramsgate that Ostian quality is truly without equal. Alright, we get that. We get some blaze orbs, which I believe we can actually use to immediately upgrade my Ember Ball? Sure. Might as well. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, let's get over here and get our next quest, do one more hunt, and then I'll sign off for now, and then we'll actually do proper multiplayer with people that I vaguely know, or at least feel like joining me as opposed to just random things. Anyway, so equip all the stuff, done it. There you are. I was beginning to think you'd taken a long walk off of a short key. I see you've been talking to Moira and Wills. Let's see how your new gear suits you. Open your loadout, equip your new stuff, done with that. Get ready. Prove to Cat Sorel that you can handle the many responsibilities of the Slayer. Achieve Slayer level 3, Hunt Lesser Drask, Boreas, Complete Middleman's Quest, Man in the Middle, Cellular Infusion, and Amateur Alchemist. Okay. Well, you won't survive the Maelstrom with that equipment, but you've more than ready you're more than ready to head back to the shattered or sheltered frontier. Sorry. This font is really hard for me to read. And tackle new challenges. I've got some guidance about where to focus your efforts, but you can determine how to accomplish these goals yourself. You've proven that you can handle behemoths that feed on elemental ether, so I think your next logical that's your next logical step. Build your mastery by hunting a shock feeding lesser drask and a frost powered lesser boreas. 
You should also talk to the bosun about some useful supplies and definitely pay a visit to the middleman. Okay, so we've got the Drask. And the Boreas. I've never fought, seen or fought the Boreas before. So let's do Pursuit. Let's go after the Frost Boyo. And we'll go from there. Okay, so we also want to go see... So while that goes... I'm ready to ship. Gather the ingredients. The bosun Marcus Boward needs to complete his latest tonic recipe. So you've heard about my hobby. Yep, alchemy has always been a passion of mine. So, and if I do say so myself, I've gotten better at it. My latest creation is something I call a blitz tonic. Let me gather the ingredients to gather a few of them. Once we do that, just equip bla blitz tonics in your loadout and give one a try in the next hunt. I think you'll be impressed at how many different things alchemical tonics can do for you. Using materials you've gathered, the bosun can craft tonics and items that grant various benefits in combat. You unlock new recipes as you complete quests, so keep an eye on cra the crafting interface for his latest offerings. Okay, we've already got it. Perfect. Smart Craft it. Slayer. Is that it? Are we good? How dangerous could it be? So he wants me to equip it in the loadout. Oh, good timing. Okay, so hopefully I just have to use it in the next hunt. We've also got the middleman. Interesting. But I can't talk to him. Well that's fine. We'll we'll smash around the Boreas and we'll deal with the rest of this uh next time. And I'm ready. Okay, so Frost Armor is good, Blaze Weapons are good, yeah. So I should be able to wreck it. Killing any minion grants a bonus. The next time you deal damage to the Boreas' shield, stacks multiple times. Huh. Neat. I'm ready. And I look prettier than everybody else. Suck it, you plebs. I'm a whale. Well, not really. But yeah, let's, let's go. Let's go murk up this, this, this fool. Ah, oh, man. The environments in this game are beautiful. They, they really do look like 2D. If, you know... We weren't looking at them too hard, which I like that style in games. It it looks nice. I almost kind of wish that the uh, the characters looked the same. I, it's very similar. It's very similar to Ashen, actually, which is a game that I'm. I'm a huge fan of of Ashen. It was one of my favorite games to come out of last year. Well, there he is. Okay. You've almost exhausted your stamina. Take a moment to recover. Gotta watch that. Might as well drop the berserk potion and see what happens. I think that probably Whoops. Okay. Might as well pop that. Okay, everybody else is here. Oops. I don't need to use the vent. That's a combo. Well, he was immune to that somehow. Oh! It's because he's got his shield going. Well, I'm digging hammer a hell of a lot more than I, I used to. Didn't kill that at all. This is cool, though. I... Much more interesting than it used to be. And Boreas looks awesome. Ah, get back here. I wish to smack you. Okay, can I pop that for extra shield? I cannot. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, so I have to be... I have to be empowered entirely. 
Okay, so he's he's gonna keep summoning Gooners. Question. How do I Okay, so that's how I reload. Next hit is empowered versus Boreas. Okay. So I have to kill these suckers. Okay. I do not know how many of these I'm supposed to kill, but that's okay. Pop that. Get these back. Okay, so it is it is next multiple hits. Well, at least the weird bat pigs are... At least the weird bat pigs are not particularly... ...dangerous. Well... He's on fire. I am... ...digging this weapon. That was satisfying. I don't know if we broke much, but he went down. Well, this feels a lot better. I was S++, and I feel good about it. I mean, a little whiffy, but you know what? A little whiffy works sometimes. I like it. It's not quite bap time, but it feels good. Okay, so let's let's go visit Gregorio. Grab our, our reward. Well, it's a look. <laughs> okay, so we get a Gold Slayer's Core. Hi. Uh, Barrage Grenade. Airstrike Beacon, Inferno Grenade, Cold Snap Grenade, Transfusion Grenade, Quicksilver Die, some Platinum, not much, Silver Slayer Core, a Ripper, designed to inflict wounds that cannot heal, cool. Moonflower, I, I assume the Ripper is just a skin, not an actual weapon. Oh, that would be cool if it was a full-on weapon. On Slayer Core, I should probably go bust those open, Throwing Stars, some Cash. I don't even know what cash is used for. Signal flares. How much did I level up here? And crafting stuff. Bunch of crafting stuff. More platinum. Some ether dust. Night beacon. Silver Slayer core. Man, when I when I joked about being a whale, I apparently was not kidding. Okay. Unfortunately, a lot of this stuff is stuff that I'm not terribly interested in. Just basic and consumables are not that exciting. What are these? Middleman to expedite exchanges. Oh, interesting. Fatal Flourish. Oh, repeaters. Or at least repeater skins. I will take it. Ooh, that is a nice, that is a nice mask. And a cloak. I wonder how I can equip that. Okay, so I'm apparently level 17. Yep. Okay, so, wow. Okay, so I'm only only a third of the way done with all of this. That is going to take some doing. Skip to... How much would it cost to skip to level... <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. Skipping all the way to the end is expensive. And unnecessary. I am going to play this game mostly normally. Just not always. Anyway. I guess with that, we might as well turn in this quest with Marcus, Where seeing as we finish it up. Amateur Alchemist. There you are. Those Blitz Tonics will help you press the attack when you're feeling winded. While you're out collecting those ingredients, I also perfect a new concoction, the Bulwark Tonic, something that can help you withstand big impacts without getting knocked over, uh, knocked onto your axe. And, oh, ass, axe, that's great. I'm just getting started, Slayer. Etheric alchemy is a com complicated discipline, but I won't be working on airships forever. I think a sideline as an amateur alchemist will keep me busy and maybe even help me start saving for retirement, eh? Alright, so we're done with that. And we'll work on the rest of that later. So obviously I got more quests to work on, but honestly, I think we'll work on those later. I honestly, I might as well just talk about this. So I'm feeling much better about uh, Dauntless. Obviously, okay, tough sell. Oh, interesting. So these get me like little perk bits. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm feeling a lot better about Dauntless in general. It feels smoother, the UI looks better. And I will have to figure out how these work at a later date. And just in general, it, it feels like a more complete product. 
it's more arcadey, I think, than than Monster Hunter World, and I realize that means nothing, but I like it. Ooh, Grant's health after breaking a behemoth park. Or uh, part. That might be nice. I've got so many cores, cores to get through, but that's probably okay. Damage against wounded parts. Lantern hold ability grants all slayers attack speed temporarily. Ooh. Okay. And honestly, these are probably going to take a while to get through normally, so I'm just going to kind of call it here. I'll just open them up. And if there's something really cool, I'll, I'll mention it on the next episode or show it off even. But for now, I guess if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. Holy crap, these are some things. Uh... <laughs> Uh, ooh, whenever a behemoth is staggered, reduces stamina cost of dodging. Yeah, these are cool. Uh, but yeah, so if you guys like this at all, leave me a like, help some more you know, and if you want to see more, or if you want to join me, uh, pay close attention, hop on Discord, uh, get involved, because yeah, I'd love to include some people on hunts, uh, instead of, you know, working with total randos on the internet. Because like, I don't know, we help each other out, as opposed to just ran randos on the internet, helping them, I guess. I don't know. And once, uh, once I actually have guilds working, I will hi, these are some things. Oh, this is consumables. Okay. That's a hell of a lot of things, too. Cool. Oh, the Slayer Packs. Gotcha. Uh, but yeah, so once I have guilds working, I'll set that right up. But in the meantime, Discord will have to do. So, with that, see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching. I look cool. I need to figure out how to turn off people's names so it's not, like, overriding my coolness. This is a cool Iron Man suit.